Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to you out here and pushing this uh, word in sincerity and truth. Back with another lesson. And this is going to be an article I'm going to go into real quick. Grab a couple of scriptures. And this is that coming digital society that we've been talking about for so long. The MOTB that is uh, right on time, man. All right. Right in the pipeline. And this is from the Jerusalem Post. It says Israel bans use of cash for purchases larger than uh, 6,000 NIS. Yeah, NIS is their, uh, you know, the name for their currency. So let's get into this. It says cash deals exceeding 6,000 NIS, NIS will be illegal as part of the effort to fight against money laundering and criminal activity. So uh, they're going to push this narrative, do away with cash. All right. And push you into a more digital system, which we already have uh, through certain means. But they really want that implant and they really want this black blockchain technology. Right. Digital currency to be the standard. So getting uh, rid of cash or making it hard to use is on the agenda. So you can understand. It says uh, a new law is set to take effect in Israel starting August 1st. They will ban payments of large sums of money in cash and bank, bank checks. The goal is of the reform, according to the statement issued by the Israel Tax Authority, is to fight organized crime, money laundering, and tax non-compliance. Under new law, any payment to a business above 6,000 NIS, $1,700, must be made using alternative method, methods. So basically, you know what I'm saying, they, they want to take away that so-called privacy because cash is private, right? You don't need to know what I'm spending seventeen hundred dollars on, which is really is not a lot of it's not a lot of fucking money to be honest with you. You see, them small hats know about money, and they ain't a lot of money. This is really to clamp down, lock down, and get people onto the idea that cash is bad, and get their minds focused towards a new digital uh, reality. All right, it says must be made using alternative methods such as uh, digital transfer or debit card. Trading between private citizens who are not listed as business owners will be limited to 15,000 NIS or about 4,400 in cash. This is another step in Israel's fight against the use of cash. Previously, cash up to the amount of 11,000 could be used in business deals. So they already cut that down from 3,200 to 1,700, man. Soon it's going to be 500. Like I said, this is them keep moving to get to that to that prophecy man hey that prophecy of the mark right so let's grab that real quick this is revelation 13 to 16 and he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand and in their foreheads that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark or the name of it's, it's like let me read it again and that no man might buy or sell Save he that hath a mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, right? So that implant which is going to be coming, which is going to be uh, installed in people's hands, in their heads, arms, so on and so forth, will be used to buy or, buy or sell. And this is going to be a worldwide event when this thing goes down, man. And you see some countries... A, are going to be there faster than others. And Israel looks like it's on the <laughs> on the path to that. Right? It says we want the public to reduce the use of cash money. Uh Ed, Ed ADV Tamar Braca, who was in charge of executing the law on behalf of Israel's tax authority, told the media line, the goal is to reduce cash fluidity in the market mainly because crime organizations tend to rely on cash. By limiting the use of it, criminal activity is much harder to carry. And really, they, they throw it out there as a scapegoat or a reason to see like, oh, we're doing this because of that. But really, it's another ulterior motive. And that's usually how Esau does things in his agendas. He tell you one thing, but really, it's to uh, direct society in a certain path, man. All right. For that to happen, there must be less cash in the market. Yuri Goldman, an attorney who represented clients... An appeal against the law in 2018 claims the main problem with the law is that it's simply not efficient. Uh, we we were in discussion about the bill. The data we brought showed that since the first phase of the law was in effect, the amount of cash in the market only in increased. So clearly something's not working, Goldman told Media Line. Goldman uh, 
I also explained the downside of the law when the bill passed. There were over a million citizens without bank accounts in Israel. The law would prevent them from conducting any business and would practically turn 10% of the population into criminals. He said, right? And that's important why he said that is because once they get rid of it and you're not in that 10% and don't got that bank account, you're going to be a criminal. Just like when they bring in this MOTB and if you don't got it, and you try to be a part of society and you don't have it, you're going to be looked at as what? A criminal. You see? <laughs> so they're already getting ready, man, with these test runs. Uh, I'm not going to read through all this. Yeah, they 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 going to crack down. And that's part of, uh, that's part of Bible prophecy. This is uh, Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and to the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So you're going to have more and more of these laws being pushed. All right. Draconian type laws. <clears throat> that he is going to push. To bring in that new beast system. All right. So this is something that we should rejoice about and be excited about because we're getting that much closer to the end game. All right. That big end time prophecy, which I just read, you see. So we know uh, eventually it's going to be optional, but this devil is going to get so tyrannical. He's going to make it mandatory. All right. To the point where, uh, you know, you're going to have uh, martyrs in this thing. Let's keep going. That's ended off in Habakkuk 2 and 3. It says, For the vision is yet at a point of time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And this thing is a is right here, man. It is it, it, it is right here, man. Okay. They want to do away with their cash. They limiting the amount of cash you can use. Alright? They want you onto a digital system. And if, if people don't have the bank accounts, guess what? They're going to give them digital wallets, right? And once you put your credits, <laughs> your digital tokens, right? Your digital currency in those wallets, uh, you know, you're going to have the, the option of what? And you, if you get the implant, just wave your hand, man. It's contactless. It's a contactless payment. That's another buzzword. Esau comes up with these buzzwords and terms to get the minds of man ready and prepared for the day of that MOTB, so you can understand. All right, but that's the point. Uh, I'm going to give all glory, praise, and honor to you. How about Shem Shai? Shalom, the next time.